Okay, hey guys, this is Jack, and this is all of my World War II gear. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of a big loadout, and this is an HD, so, like, right here, so, I'll make it 720 HD. Yeah, okay. So, starting with uniforms, here's my reproduction M1941 field jacket. West Technician 4th Grade Insignia and uh, Ranger Patch. And it's got the uh, nice wool on the inside, zipper, and buttons. So it keeps it pretty warm. It's got nice pockets. Yep. And here's um, my original EM undershirt. Wool undershirt. I picked this up for actually thirty dollars, and I think that is a great deal on undershirts because I mean these are going online for like a crap ton of money, so that's for a pretty good deal. And I mean it's been used by a guy because it's got the T4 chevrons and the double campaign stripes, and it's got guy who had this on. Oh, right here. It's, uh, J. Murray. Yeah, so, I've got your undershirt. <laughs> okay, here's my grandpa's World War II service coat. It is very nice. He gave it to me about a year ago. And it's got an, um, ASTP patch on, which is um, American, you know, Army Special Training Program. Then of I've, I've got an original officer's colored garrison cap. Um, yeah. Picked that up for fifteen dollars. Okay, um now on to uh web gear and such. I might add my twenty hyper sack, which actually I'm just came today. Got this off eBay. Not the cheapest deal. And um with shipping, it was about 50 bucks, but it's really nice condition. I mean, it's a very nice quality original. It's got everything that comes with it. The um, yeah, suspenders. I got it uh, attached to the uh, gearing right there. Yeah, and got the knee cam pouch with um, an original 1945 dated weekend on that. I'm not going to get that open for you because yeah, I, I'm just not. And yeah, so it's pretty nice. Then one cartridge belt. Um, repro. Original um, canteen. Covers 42 dated. Canteen covers 44. Original carbine pouch. Didn't mention 45. And we don't have a carbine, but I just modified it on there and tied it on, because it looks cool. Wire cutter pouch, Lee 1945, original, original 1943 or later, uh, first aid pouch. Um, I have two helmets, one that I use, one that I usually wear, is my, is this one, with the nice netting on it, and, uh, oh, look, look. Liner chin strap, leather chin strap, I mean. And I aged the net. Can't really see the camera. In fact, it's kind of gone away a bit. And then I got the NCO bar paint on the Ranger Diamond. Got a green one on, so I might. A green nape strap, so I might um, buy a khaki one soon. And in the liner, got. Um, kind of got the idea from. Fast one, one, two. I've got some World War II pin up in there. Yeah, pretty funny. And uh, here's my other helmet. It's got the winter, um, it's got a homemade winter camel cover on it. But I'm gonna take it off soon. It looks pretty cool with it off. Aged, pretty nice. Um, yeah, so. Then here's, um, my map bag. It's not World War II, it's a modern version of it I've realized 
and it's kind of hard to wear with a haversack, so I'm not going to be using it too much. And um, got an original 50 cal ammo tin, plastic bullets, deactivated training grenade, yep, and got just some green pants picked for like 20 bucks. Um, kind of look like HBT pants. I, I don't really care about trousers, because, I mean, I only make movies, I'm not really an actor. M36 suspenders, very nice. Original M44 suspenders, these are Andy's, kind of from Ken the Artist. He just hasn't taken them back yet. An extra first aid pouch, for reproduction, some from Soldier of Fortune, so it's British, and might give this to Andy because he's got another website that doesn't have a first aid pouch, so yeah, I might do this in time. Okay, um, here are my, um, reproduction from at the front and 1938 leggings. I actually, um, I made them look really, they're really used, and laces are good, these are great quality, and then got this, um, 70, 1975 camera, but you know, it would be like a cool movie prop for like, a camera, you know, looks pretty cool, yeah. and uh, here's um, a modern German camouflage jacket, got for really cheap, then I put some overfly, an overflagger insignia on it, to look more World War II, got two super cheap $10 plastic German helmets, good for movies. No, uh, 22, um, use it for a Con 98, for our Germans, and here's, um, my would-be AR, pretty bad, I might remake it sometime, or, um, we might make a carbine sometime, but yeah, this is like background for some guy to, like, get blown up or something or throw it, so yeah, and it is pretty small, and Max should be closer, and I know, I know, I know. So yeah, here is that's basically like all my um World War Two gear. Um, thanks for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it in HD. Okay, bye. And if you have any questions at all, like where I got an item, if I didn't say, or um how much it was. Like if you like what I recommend, whatever, just shoot me a question because we're happy to answer them. And um, if you want, need like if you're starting um your World War Two impression for movies, um and if you're like wondering like should I should I spend like five hundred bucks on a full impression or anything like that, I'll I'm I'll just shoot me a comment. Okay, bye.